Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here on a very cold morning in Jerusalem during the winter snap. Here today, uh, just outside the newly opened, somewhat newly opened, Mount Zion Trench. Now I'm going to try to explain, I'm going to link, Times of Israel had a really interesting article. Um, I'm going to link to that in the description of this video. Uh, firstly, it's open from Sunday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and it's free entrance, so that's always appreciated. Tip one, because I've just come the other way in the tunnel, is bring some decent footwear because it is a little bit uh, muddy, perhaps just on account of the rain. So basically, when the Jordanians were controlling eastern Jerusalem, they had a platoon stationed in the old city. And they used to fire their snipers, marksmen, would fire upon Israel. Mount Zion was isolated from the rest of Jerusalem, so that posed a logistical problem. You can, uh, if you're a history buff, correct me in the comments. But basically, Israel invented two things, or installed two things. One was the famous cable car, which is uh, in the Cable Car Museum and in the Mount Zion Hotel, which is currently closed for renovations. And the second thing was that the Combat Engineering Corps of the IDF, Zahal, invented this. And this is very clever. Now, the intent here was to move casualties and supplies without the Jordanians noticing from right here very very close to the old city and then up to Mount Zion. Now from what I got from the article they had a better success with the cable car which had to be lowered at day every single day so the Jordanians wouldn't discover it. This had its own clever concealment. The engineering corps built this in such a way that you can see it from the ramparts of the old city. So the Jordanians never find out about this. It was a incognito project and it's got kind of a tin roof for a while the residents were like what is that tin roof and uh, Israel or the Jerusalem municipality decided to open this um, in order to commemorate and the CEC have been involved in every four every war Israel has fought since it's an important part of the of the army one other detail I mentioned before we actually go through the tunnel is that they have etched names of Jerusalem the architect so it's mostly preserved they've done a little bit of embellishments and they've etched uh, names of Jerusalem as it appears in the Tanakh into the roof. The sun shines through. In fact, I'm just going to bring the camera back here. You can see those in the roof. Literally carved into the tin. I think this metal is tin. Could be wrong. Metal experts can correct me. Anyway, without further ado, let's go down. It's only a three minute walk. You can start from this side by the Jerusalem College. Or you can start from the other side. I'm starting from the top and working down. So here we go. And you can just imagine what this was actually like. I feel I should mention that your friend who has claustrophobia, you might find this a little uncomfortable. It's not too bad. It's not the ceiling's about this high, so but it is a little bit a little bit narrow. We're meandering downwards, down the hill, as you can see. Over this mud and that's it right the other side comes out right here which people familiar with Jerusalem will recognize you can start from this side as well um, this is just on the route to the old city here nice uh, little place here for tour guides uh, to stop and you know explain the significance there is a placard here it's only available in Hebrew but it does tell the story of the trench and it's got some photographs and uh, just so people can find it, it is marked with a sign on this side as well for the Mount Zion Trench. There you go, guys. Hope this video was interesting, useful. Uh, really, really cool little commemoration to an interesting time in Jerusalem's history. Encourage people to come and check it out.